Already today, according to Norton, cybercrime amounts to over $380 billion, while online attacks could pose significant risk to critical systems. Yet so far, we have not done enough to protect ourselves. That's worrying. Every day we use computers and networks in almost everything we do, and cyber threats can affect everyone. They can damage commercial operations, the 2011 cyber attack cost Sony nearly, nearly $175 million. They could damage government or critical infrastructure, and they could also damage consumer trust in legitimate e-commerce, globally worth trillions of euros each year. But what's more, the threats come from a variety of places in the world, readily crossing borders, and for a variety of motivations, profit, protest, political gain, vandalism or adventure. Given that internet attacks have such a wide mix of sources and impacts, the solution is not simple. For one thing, internet security cannot be left to the traditional instruments of national security, as if cyberspace was just another military theater. Rather, we need a comprehensive response that covers it all, and that is why we need a new vision to address the particular features of security in cyberspace. And this is why we need what I call a European strategy for internet security. With everyone, governments, businesses and individuals working together and sharing responsibility. Our strategy, due in the third quarter of this year, will enable a step change in how we ensure internet security and ensure that all our wider internet governance policies take security issues fully into account. There will be five main strengths. First, we need the networks to respond to threats. Member states will need to guarantee minimum capabilities and we all need to share critical information securely and confidentially within and between public and private sectors. For example, Thirds and other competent bodies need to exchange regularly and rapidly to warn and assist. All these relations should be based on a trusted network and on a common reference framework within the internal market. And second, we need a governance structure. Member states need to establish competent authorities, centralizing information and sharing with partners. A new European forum could then ensure these authorities and the private sector work together. That could support the European Cyber Incident Contingency Plan, ensure we exchange best practices and help link up security, cybercrime and defence. The recently announced European Cybercrime Centre could be helpful in that context. Third, remember it's the private sector not just that owns and runs most of the infrastructure but also that produces much of the equipment that uses it, like devices, software and services. And it is private companies who are often themselves heavy users of ICT. It should be in all companies' interest to improve security wherever they sit in the ICT value chain. For example, businesses need proper management to assess and mitigate risks. And we all need safeguards if incidents nonetheless do occur. Prompt reporting means national authorities can react quickly and minimize the impact. Such an obligation to notify security breaches already exists for the telephone uh, sector. It should also encompass other sectors relying on critical information infrastructure, like energy, water, finance and transport. And fourth, we need a more vibrant internal market. I want to invest in innovation for security technologies, including through the EU budget. But research alone isn't enough. We need to fill the gaps in the value chain to seamlessly bring bright ideas to market. Pre-commercial procurement and public-private partnerships are just two powerful instruments here. Plus, we need more transparency in the security product market. If end-users were better aware what's on offer, including through standards, that would stimulate user demand for better products. And we need to boost user trust, 
by providing the security features that make users confident of their online experience. Features that are easy to use for everyone and that are based on an industry agreed set of common specifications and functions. And fifth, this is not just a European problem. Global interdependencies need global cooperation that includes identifying and addressing possible barriers to market access and ensuring security throughout the supply chain, including third country products that enter the EU. Internet security is not a problem that's going to go away. Even while I have been speaking, around 700 new pieces of malware could have been developed across the globe. But by building response networks, a decent governance structure, the right incentives to the private sector, a vibrant internal market and an international outlook, then we can deliver an internet that is safe and secure for everyone.